Hello, we're going to look at the probability of multiple events using coin tossing and dice as our examples. We're going to be dealing with independent events. A and B are independent events if the occurrence of A does not affect the occurrence of B. So for example, A could be rolling a die or flipping a coin. The result of the first flip or roll of the die will not have an effect on the second flip or second roll of the die. The probability of A and B occurring is just going to be the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B occurring. So for example, the probability of getting ahead on the first and second toss of a coin will be as follows. The probability of getting ahead on the first toss will be one half. And since these are independent events, the probability of getting ahead on the second toss will also be one half. So the probability here of getting two heads, one half times one half, the probability of event A times the probability of event B, or it's just one half squared and we get a result of 0 0.25, 25% chance. The probability of getting ahead on the first, second, and third toss of a coin. These are all independent events. So we're going to multiply one half times one half times one half. And that will equal 0 0.125, 12.5%. The probability of getting ahead on the first through tenth toss of a coin, that is getting ten heads in a row simplest way to write this is just one half to the tenth power and we get this tiny result. Moving on. The probability of getting ahead on the first, second, and a tail on the third toss of the coin is as follows. So the probability of getting ahead on the first toss is a half. The probability of getting ahead on the second toss is one half, and the probability of getting a tail is one half. And that's our result. The probability of not getting four heads when tossing a coin four times is going to be one minus the probability of getting four heads. So the probability of getting four heads is one half to the fourth power. And then 1 minus 1 half to the 4th power is almost 94% chance that we won't get 4 heads in a row. Let's move to rolling die. The probability of getting two ones in two rolls of a die. So there's six sides to a die. The probability of getting any number is going to be just 1 over 6. So the probability of getting two ones is 1 6 times 1 6 which is 1 over 36. The probability of getting a 1 on each die and rolling two dice simultaneously. So what happens on one die is not going to affect the, what happens on the second die. These are independent events. So as problem 6, it's just 1 6 times 1 6. The probability of getting a 1 or 2 on the first roll of a die and a 6 on the second roll. So getting a 1 or 2, that's going to be 2 out of 6, 2 divided by 6. And the probability of getting any single number is just 1, 6. And so we get our answer here of 1 over 18.